Anyone who has the time and effort and desire to learn more about God should really begin with John Owen. Uh, he's not immediately easy to read, but uh, the payoff is immense. Uh, I still read John Owen uh, over and over and over again and never cease to learn from uh, the Prince of the Puritans, and he really was. He stands head and shoulders above the rest. So if you're uh, looking for places to begin, Volume 1, uh, Volume 3, uh, Volume 5, Volume 6, um, some of his stuff on Hebrews is excellent. Uh, I'd really commend to you the works of John Owen. Now, if you pick up John Owen's works and you begin at uh, Volume 1, which I would say is an excellent place to begin, on uh, Christ. Uh, you find in, in that volume so many different uh, aspects of Christology that are really uh, beautifully laid out by Owen and especially as you get to his section on the beatific vision of how one day the Christian will see face to face the person of Christ as a man sees his neighbor so we will behold Christ but leading up to that he speaks of how uh, beholding Christ now in these bodies in Christ's present glory would be of no advantage to us because we'd be overcome uh, with terror and dread because of the remaining sin in our bodies and so he highlights importantly how the vision of Christ uh, fleshly vision of Christ is something that Christians have to wait for patiently by faith we live by faith now and we will one day live by sight so uh, as he brings out all of these uh, important points after a couple hundred pages of leading up to that, you really come to the conclusion that um, no one will go to heaven unless they have in this life uh, beheld the glory of Christ by faith, because it is faith that leads to sight. And, and for me, that was a revolutionary uh, concept where I think many Christians take for granted that we will see Christ, but this took 1,700 years roughly for the for the church to come to this point where such clear things could be said about seeing Christ.